Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Robin Basselin, and I'm Luke Haley. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand, no matter where in the world they live. Imagine something that you want to do with your life, a goal. Do you want to go somewhere special? Do you want to work with particular people, or have a family? What if you were never able to complete your goals? Would you wish to live your life again? Many people have asked questions like these over the centuries, but there is a recent video game that looks at them in a new way. Today's spotlight is on the video game "To the Moon." Han Gao lives in Canada. He is a video game designer. He made "To the Moon." So far, he has made five games with his independent game company, Freebird Games. But he did not always design video games. When Khan started, he was a college student. He studied business and computers. In his extra time, he wrote and made simple games. He used a program called RPG Maker X. RPG is short for role-playing game. In an RPG, people play a role. Or character in a video game. The game has a story that the character moves in and creates. The imaginary world of this story is very important for these kinds of games. The story of "To the Moon" is very personal for Gao. The idea came from several tragic events in his life. He says, "A few years ago, my grandfather went into hospital. He needed an immediate operation for a heart condition. He survived the operation just fine." But when I visited him, it made me understand that these things are a part of life. This happens to everyone. It made me wonder: when it is my turn to be lying there, will I question what I have done with my life? These questions led Gao to make to the moon. It took him a year and a half to make. For most of that time, he was at university. He would go to classes, and do his homework. Then, he would work late into the night on his project. Khan also wrote the music for the game. He says that doing both made work on the game easier. When he was unable to finish part of the story, he would write music for that part, and this would help him understand the story better. 
Music is a very important part of the game. It helps communicate who the characters are, and it fills the story with emotion. The story that Gao finally wrote is about a group of scientists in the future. These scientists can go into a person's memory. They can change how a person remembers their life, but they can only do so right before the person dies. In the game, a person plays as two of these scientists, Doctor Rosaline and Doctor Watts. These two explore a dying person's memory. His name is Johnny. As he is dying, Johnny wishes that he had gone to the moon. The doctors cannot take him there, but they can replace his memory. Their job is to make him believe. That he did go to the moon. As the game continues, the player starts to learn more and more about Johnny. The player travels back through his memories. The player sees Johnny. When he was a small child, the player witnesses the happiest and most tragic periods of his life. But through it all, the player wonders why a person would have their memories replaced. What was so terrible that Johnny wanted to forget? Is his goal so important that he would give up everything else in his life? Johnny's story is interesting because it makes us wonder: What is more important, the life that we live, or the one that we might have lived? This story was very interesting, but Kan Gao was not sure that his game would be a success. For one thing, the game did not look modern. The tool he used to create the game is not high quality. Most people today think games created like this look old. And strange. To the moon also does not play like a traditional game. In most games, the player causes events to happen. In To the Moon, he witnesses events, but he does very little to change them. He guides the doctors. From one part of Johnny's memory to another, but there is no way to lose. Because of this, some people do not even think "To the Moon" is a real game. "To the Moon" is very different from other games. Most game companies have hundreds of people working on a game. Each game costs millions of dollars to make. Kan Gao worked with just three other people. His earlier games did not sell very well, but it had always been his dream to make games. So he and the others at his company worked very hard to make the game as good as possible. 
They released the game in 2011. No one expected it to be very popular, but it was a great success. It even began to win awards. People who give expert opinions on games gave it good reviews. They said To the Moon was different and interesting. They praised its music and its beautiful story. Some even claimed that the game changed their lives. David Yeager of RPGFan.com says, There is joy in this game. It is the kind of joy that makes a grown man like me cry in front of his computer. There is a wonder here that only the best films and books can provide. They make you look at life a little bit differently for a while. They make you wonder how you ever forgot how amazing it is to be alive, to simply exist. This game did that for me. To the Moon was such a success that Khan Gao is now planning another game. He wants to continue making stories about Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts. And now, many video game players are waiting to play his next game. He is still young and has many years of making games left. But it seems that by making a game about giving people their dreams, Khan Gao has come closer to living his own. The writer of this program was Dan Christman. The producer was Luke Haley. The voices you heard were from the United Kingdom and the United States. All quotes were adapted for this program and voiced by Spotlight. You can listen to this program again and read it on the Internet at www.radioenglish.net. This program is called to the moon. Tell us what you think about today's program. You can leave a comment on our website or email us at radio at radioenglish.net and find us on Facebook. Just search for Spotlight Radio. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.